Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Google Docs so far. Now, this is going to be the last lesson specifically pertaining to Google Docs and we're going to just talk about some tips I have for you and how you can use add-ons and templates to help you out. The first one I want to bring up is how you can make a PDF link for people. Sometimes people need or prefer a PDF file. If you're working in Google Docs or Sheets, you don't need to download and convert your file. Instead, all you got to do is just send them a link to the PDF version of your file. Pretty easy to do, handy little tip. The benefits that you get from doing that rather than downloading it as a PDF and then sending to them is that when you update your actual Word document or spreadsheets because it works in spreadsheets too, but when you update your document, the link that you sent out to the other person is going to give them an updated version of the PDF automatically. So you get automatic updating rather than if you were to download it and send it to them and then you made an edit, you would have to download it again and resend it to them. It's also going to save you a little bit of storage in your, well, in your inbox or their inbox and in your drive by not having multiple PDFs that you've downloaded or copies every time you make a change. And this could also work great if you're going to put a downloadable PDF on your website for something such as a white paper, for proposals, reports, something like that. You don't have to change the link every time you update your source material. You can put this link on your website and, and you're good to go forever after that. So let's talk about how you do that. What we'll do is we'll go up here to the upper right and click on the share button right here. We'll click on that and we'll click on the get a shareable link, copy link. So it'll tell you the link is copied to the clipboard. So I've got that copy now. Now I can click on done. And then I need to paste the link in something and I'm just going to do it in this document for the sake of keeping it easy and simple. But this would be the link that you're going to paste into your email or on your website or wherever you're going to put it. But this is the link to the document. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make two copies of this link just so that you can visually see the difference in what we're doing. So you can see here this is the regular link. If I click on it, opens up another copy of this document, same document. If I wanted to send somebody this document sharing it the normal way, this would be the link that they'll get. Now if I want to do the PDF sharing, Thing. What I need to do is just change part of the link. So this part right here that says edit question mark USP equals sharing right there that I've highlighted. That's the part that you're going to change. And what we're going to change it to is export question mark format equals PDF. We went from edit question mark USP equals sharing to export question mark format equals PDF. And what this does is it tells Google that when somebody clicks on this link instead of just sharing and, and allowing them to share and edit it, it's going to export it for them as a PDF document. Let's see what that looks like. Now you can see once I put that link into the URL bar there, it automatically downloaded a PDF version down here because that's how Google works. So that's what will happen if you send somebody this link it'll automatically download a PDF format of your document to their computer. I open that document I can see that it is our document but in PDF version. So that's a neat little trick. Something you can do like I said to deliver PDFs quickly efficiently and without having to update them constantly you can just send that link or put that link on your website. The next little tip I want to talk about is how to email a copy of your document as an attachment. Earlier we took a look at doing it from here and sharing it from this screen. From here we can do it in the document as well. So we can go to file and scroll down to email as attachment. And once you click on that this window pops up and it gives you options as to how you want to email it. You can send it as a PDF as a Microsoft Word doc or, or any of these formats here. And you just basically write your email from here. You could do your subject line or to who you're doing it to. And then you put in your subject line and your message. And you can send a copy yourself if you want to. But it's just a quick way that when you're working in the document, once you get finished, you can quickly just send an email to somebody that needs it in a different format as an attachment. I do want to remind you though that when you do that, 
it is going to send them a copy of the document. So when you update your Google Doc, they won't have an updated version. They'll just have the attachment that you sent, and it will not automatically update. All right, so that's that. Uh, another little tip I want to give you is uh, you can have collaborators make a quick copy of your document by sending a link much like we did with the PDF. So in order to illustrate that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the link again. Copy the link. And we'll do a similar thing to what we did with the PDF. Now some of the benefits of having a copy rather than having somebody edit your actual document is that you could create templates for things like proposals or project plans and whatnot. In that way you can have a template that nobody else is going to change but they'll end up with a copy of that template and then they can fill out the document on their own without editing your original. Or maybe you've done a document that's so fantastic that everybody else just wants to to kind of build upon yours or do one like yours but change certain things then you can share it that way too but they won't edit your original document. And the way that we do that we'll go back down here to the link and this time instead of changing as much as we changed before we're only going to change this part that says edit. So where it says edit we'll change it to copy. Simple as that. Now this link whenever I send it to somebody they're not going to have this exact document they're gonna have a copy of this document so if this was the template I wanted everybody to use to have it look like that but not edit my document I would use the copy link let's get rid of those links last little tip I want to talk about is how you can update your word documents with a Chrome extension we've gone over all the benefits of using Google Docs but sometimes you have to use a Word doc or a Microsoft Office document for whatever reason. You can still edit it on a basic level in the browser. The benefits of that is that you can work on a Word document with clients and customers who use Office, not Docs, and still be able to kind of edit them even if you don't have the software. So you don't have to pay for Microsoft Office just to collaborate or work with some people that have Office. You won't have all of the benefits of the full Office suite, but you will be able to do some basic editing in order to work with those people. Now the way to do that is simply going to the Chrome store and getting the extension called Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Once you've done that from Drive, you'll be able to open a Microsoft Word doc or a Google spreadsheet or something, and it'll open it in a new tab for you with the basic editing functionality. Just a handy little thing if you need it. Okay, let's move on to add-ons and templates. Add-ons are things that Google has out there that allow you to do more with your Google Docs or Sheets or Slides or Forms. And you can add them in, delete them anytime, and you don't have to install things. It'll just add it to your docs for you. So let's take a look at what that means or what you can do with that. We get to add ons by coming up to the menu bar and selecting the add ons menu item. And you can see here it says do more with docs, get add ons. So I want to click on get add ons. And now I can take a look at what we've got. And as you can see, there is a a lot of add-ons. This scroll bar goes down quite a ways. There's a lot of different things. You can filter it by whether you want business tools, education, productivity, certain things there. You can search for one if somebody told you about an add-on that you thought would be great and you can search for it and find it there. Okay, so let's add one in there. Let's grab this thesaurus one. And it tells you what it does. Thesaurus for Google Documents helps you explore synonyms, antonyms, and more. Maybe this is something I would find handy. If I want that, all I got to do is come up to this little button that says free and click on it. And it will ask you for permissions for the things that it needs to access. You want to make sure that it's a good add on from a reputable source, good ratings and reviews, and all that. But generally, it should be okay. You click on allow, and it'll go ahead and stick the source in your add ons. So now it shows me the source has been added. And it tells me a little bit about what to do. Select a word, choose the source from this menu. Okay, so maybe I've got an add-on now and I'm not using it anymore or it wasn't that great. Looks like it might be a little broken. That probably explains the two-star rating they had. So now I don't want this add-on. What can I do about that? Well, we click on add-ons and we can go down to manage add-ons, which wasn't there before, but it is now because I have an add-on. 
it'll take you to the same kind of pop-up menu here click on manage and I don't want to use it in this document so I took that off now if I just don't want it at all I can remove it now that's a great little option there too because some add-ons might be working constantly in your document and maybe you don't want it in a particular document so you can just turn it off for that document so I encourage you to take a look at the add-ons and see what kind of add-ons are in there and if anything looks cool to you you know let all the other students know what you found that you think is a great add-on for Google Docs that's that seems to be really helpful alright so the last thing we'll talk about is templates now if you want to start your file and have a specific purpose like a resume or something like that and you want to start with a template well you can find those Google Docs already has a bunch of templates built in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Docs homepage. We'll click on that little blue icon there, and this is the Google Docs homepage. And you can see that it's got all these templates here, and it's got my previous documents as well. So I'll click on this template gallery link up here in the upper right, and there are just a ton of different options for templates. So let's see if there's uh, yeah there's resumes. So I'll click on this and what it does is it creates your document for you and gives you this template to start working from and you can customize and change it from here it won't change the template but it will change this is your document now give it a name call that sample resume because this is my document now and I can change the colors and the fonts and update all the information we're good to go so templates are a great way to just get a quick start to something without having to rack your own brain trying to think about how to format it so yeah take a look at those too just like with the add-ons, you know, see what templates are in there. If you think the templates are useful, I'd like to hear which templates do you think actually work well or are most beneficial. So let the other students know by commenting on the side there about that as well. So let's hear about the add-ons and hear about the templates that are useful for everybody. And that's going to wrap it up for this lesson and this entire section on Docs. So I encourage you to just jump in. Don't worry about what you're doing with the doc. Just start a doc. Play around with all the tools, all the things that we've talked about, and see what you can do with it. And feel free to share a document to me if you'd like me to look at it and answer any questions about it uh, or anything like that. Or just you know shoot any questions over to me about docs specifically. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this section, and we'll see you again in the next one.